What up, y'all? It's your boy, Young Mugs, back with another video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Get these videos to 100 likes. You already know what it is. Today's video, I'm going to be letting y'all know how I got monetized in three months. Let's get into the video. I got some notes here, so I won't be talking all over the place. I'll be on point. So I'm going to start with the backstory. So I started vlogging like six years ago. Um, I posted my first video December 7th, 2018. Yeah. So I was vlogging. Um, I, I was watching a couple YouTubers and I seen that the vlogging was uh, popping for them. So I wanted to vlog too. And I started vlogging so that I could build a fan base for my music. That was the main focus. Like, that's what I started vlogging for. Like, I wanted to build my own fan base for my music. So, like an authentic, fa authentic fan base, people that, you know, wanted to watch me because of my personality and the type of person that I was. So, I could go independent and I won't need a label and stuff like that. But that was the reason why I started YouTube in the first place. It wasn't for the money. It wasn't for, you know, of course the money is a plus, but I started it for really to build a fan base for my music. So, vlogging though, when it comes to vlogging, it's a hard niche because um, if if you don't got no motion and like, you know, you're not popular and people don't really know you, it's like they don't care about what you got going on, like, especially if, if it's boring stuff, like, if you're not doing nothing that bringing it, that's bringing excitement, like, nobody really cares about what you got going on. It's harsh, but that's the truth. You know, you're going to have them them people um, that is going to watch you no matter what. But it's not enough of those to change your channel and make your channel turn up and, you know, blow up on YouTube. So vlogging is a real hard niche. So um, when I started vlogging, I was broke. Like, you know what I'm saying? I really ain't have a lot of money like that I was I was in between jobs so I really didn't have money to do much so you know I was looking for a job I was trying to do YouTube it was a rough time when I started YouTube so uh the vlogs wasn't interesting like they wasn't exciting like and stuff like that so it made it hard like the numbers was real low not even touching 100 you know some videos touched 100 but um it was rare. Really, the first thing you really got to do to to be on your way to get monetized is you got to find a niche. You got to find something that's interesting, something that people want to watch, something that's going to bring attention, like something that's popular, hot topic, whatever. That's what you got to do. You got to find that, like, because that's what's going to, you know, help you get monetized. The vlogging, the vlogging wasn't really working out for me. So, um, I started like doing mukbangs. I started putting mukbangs in my videos. I seen the mukbangs starting to, you know, get a little views. They was getting a little traction. So, you know, I kept doing mukbangs, but I still wanted to vlog because I wanted to, you know, I wanted to build that fan base vlogging. I ain't want them to just want to watch me because I'm doing something. I wanted them to watch me because, um, you know, they like the person that I am. So it'll make it easier to transition to the music. So I was doing the mukbangs. I was seeing a uh, steady uh, traction from the mukbangs. So I kept doing the mukbangs, but I kept vlogging also. Now I'm going to get to the reason why doing two things on the channel is not good. I'm going to get to that reason later on. Back then when I started, I didn't really know about the algorithm and all that stuff. So like, that's an important thing when it comes to getting monetized. The algorithm. You got to get in the algorithm. Because if you don't get in the algorithm, it makes it hard for you to see views, like see numbers, see the numbers going up on your channel. It's not going to, it's going to be hard. Like you really got to be doing something outrageous um, for people to, to, to view you. So once you get in that algorithm, once you crack that code and get in that algorithm, you in there. Like that's, that's one of the keys to getting monetized, that algorithm. So, uh, what the thing about the algorithm too is you don't want to do 
you don't want to do different things. You want to do one thing on your channel so that the, the like YouTube, the algorithm will get confused. Like if you're doing mukbangs and vlogs, right? So the algorithm don't know who to, you know, like recommend your channel to. They don't know if they, they supposed, they're going to recommend it to the people that watch vlogs or the people that watch mukbangs. So they just not going to recommend you because they don't know for sure who to recommend you to. So that's why it's not good to do two things at once. Now, the big YouTubers, they could do whatever they want because they got their fan base. Their fan base ain't going nowhere. They're going to watch whatever they post. So they could do whatever they want. But when this is for the people that's starting off, that's trying to get monetized. You don't want to do too many things on your channel. You want to find one thing that's working and stick to that. So, like I said, if you was posting vlogs and he wasn't seeing nothing, then you start posting mukbangs and you start seeing views go up, stop posting vlogs, only post mukbangs. Keep posting mukbangs because that's what's going to bring people to your channel. That's what's going to make your channel go up. Now, these are just examples. You don't got to do mukbangs or vlogs. I'm just saying. Now, I'm a, how I did it, we're going to get into it right now. So, my vlogs wasn't really, wasn't really working out. So... I told myself, I'm like, yeah, I'm going to stop vlogging. I'm going to chill on YouTube for a minute. And I'm going to wait until I, my, you know, my life get more exciting. Then I'll come back to the vlogs. So I took like almost a year off of YouTube. I didn't post nothing. Um, and then I got back. Like one day I've just decided like, you know what? Let me try again. So I got back on it. I started doing it again, but I'm posting vlogs again. Really wasn't doing much. Wasn't seeing no traction. So one day I'm working, like I do gig work. That's what I do every day. I've been doing it for almost five years now. So I'm like, you know what? Let me post what I'm doing today. It's because it's content. Like it, I was still doing it in vlog form, but you know, I just wanted to post what I was doing on a day-to-day -day basis and that's gig work. So one day I posted a gig work video and I got a hundred views in like two hours. So I'm like, hold up, dang, I ain't never see 100 views this quick ever on my channel. So I'm like, hold up, man, let me try again. Posted another gig work video. Numbers, 100, 100 or better. The numbers was good. I'm like, okay. So then I'm like, all right, let me try something else. So I made a video explaining how I survived four years without having a nine to five. And I, I was just telling, like, you know, telling them about the gig work and how I did it. And that video went crazy. That video changed my channel. It really changed my channel. Like, so that's what's, uh, that's what really took my channel to another level. So I was like, bet. Now I privated all my vlog videos. I had like 400 something videos on my channel. Like I was posting every day. Like, I was going hard. I was watching YouTubers, and they were saying, like, yo, post every day. That's how you're going to get your hours up. You know, because you know it's a criteria. You got to get 1,000 subs and 4,000 hours of watch time. And I'm going to explain how to do that in the next video. But, yeah, so I was posting every day, and I was like, yo, this junk ain't working. Like, posting every day ain't working. So, you know. But once I started doing the gig work videos... Change my channel, bro. Change my whole channel. Like, so I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna stick to this. I privated all my videos that had nothing to do with gig work. So I strictly, and then when I first started doing this, I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna just throw it in there. I'm not, and I, I was like, yo, this not a gig channel. I, I kept telling my people, this not a gig channel. I'm just gonna post them here and there. This is a vlog channel. Cause I'm, I don't know. I was stuck on vlogging. Like, I wanted to vlog so bad. Um, but it just didn't work out for me. So I had, you know, if it don't work, just move on. Like, I know you might want to do it bad and that's what you came on YouTube to do. But if it don't work, you got to move on. You got to give the people what they want. Like if the people is coming and they watching, you got to keep doing whatever is making them watch. And for me, it was gig work. So that, that, that video I did, it got like, like right now it's probably at 19k or 20k so that i did three parts i did three parts and i explained everything like i explained the apps i explained the, the pros and cons 
I did a separate video for both apps and the pros and cons, and that really changed my channel. So I changed my whole channel to a gig channel. I don't do vlogs no more on this channel. It is a strictly gig work. And I might vlog later on, but for now, strictly gig work. So the first thing, the very first thing you have to do, you have to find a niche. You have to find out what people are coming to your channel to watch. Like, what is bringing the people to your channel? Once you do that, you got to stick to it and grind. Don't stop. Keep posting. Keep posting those videos that they want to see. And, you know, thumbnails and titles. That's that's a conversation for another video, but find your niche. Once you find your niche, you good, man. Stick to it and just grind consistently. Don't stop. You're going to see a difference in your channel like I did. I've been doing YouTube for six years. Once I started posting gig work, it took me three months to get monetized. So if I could do it, trust me. If I could do it, you could do it too. Like, plain and simple. All it took me was going hard for three months. And now that I'm monetized, I'm about to go even harder. Like, once you get monetized, the real hard work starts. So, I hope this video helped you guys out. Um, if you got any questions, leave them in the comments. I'm going to end the video right here. This your boy, Young Mugs. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Get this video to 100 likes or better. If you made it to the end, you know what to do. Leave them flex emojis in the comments. And I'm going to see y'all in the next video. This your boy, Young Mugs. I'm out. Peace.